Let's do population math practice number three. Make sure that you have your setup with units. Even if you can do it in your head or on a calculator, you have to show setup, not just your answer for points. What's the population density? Well, we're gonna take the population here and divide it by the area, which is in hectares. Hectare is metric for area. It's kind of like an acre, but um, it's an area of land, hectares. Greater Los Angeles means the city of Los Angeles plus the surrounding cities make up Greater Los Angeles. So this includes the cities of Burbank, Pasadena, Santa Monica, Santa Clarita. The cities that surround the city of Los Angeles make up what we call the Greater Los Angeles area. So the population is growing at a half a percent. And then the land is growing too because of urban sprawl. So they keep building more and more um, houses on land that used to be wilderness land, chaparral or desert wilderness. And so that's why the land area is growing. All right, so the first one, the population density in persons per hectare, that's a pretty easy problem to do. People or you could say persons, and our area was 585,012 hectares. So it's HA is the abbreviation for hectare. So you can do that and you can round to three sig figs and your answer is gonna come out in people per hectare. How many people did Los Angeles add the following year? Well, it's growing at a rate of 5%. So you have to multiply. 15,138, I'm sorry, 15,138,973 people times 0.5%. Always set up your work. Again, even if you can do it in your head, you have to set up your work. So your answer is going to come out in people. You could round to three sigs if you want, or you could, I think what makes more sense in this question is to round to a whole number of people. Number three, how many hectares did Los Angeles gain the following year? So we have this many hectares. It's growing at a rate of 0.4%. So we take 585,000. 12 hectares times 0.4%, sorry, 0.4%. Now, going back to there, if you plug it in the calculator, you could plug it in with the percent sign. Um, if you have a calculator with a percent sign, and most scientific calculators do, or you could take it out of percentage, and this is equal to this. And this is equal to this. Right there. If that makes more sense to you, if you don't have a percent sign on your scientific calculator. And then your answer comes out as hectares. So you'll do that one. How many years will it take for the population of greater Los Angeles to double growing at its 2014 rate? It's the rule of 70, 70 over R, and the growth rate, growth rate is 0.5%. So this is when R's in a percentage. And so this is weird, it doesn't come out, it comes out in years, it's this special formula that comes out in years. And so 70 over 0.5%, even though you don't cross out percents or anything, it comes out in years. It's just this strange um, formula for that one. Okay. A suburb near the city of Los Angeles has a population density of 12, 31.23 peoples per square kilometer. The area of the city is 136.8 square kilometers. This is actually Santa Clarita. 
What's the population size? So now we have to figure it out backwards. So we're given the density. And we know density is number of people per area. So we want the number of people per area, but we're given the area. It's 136.8 people per kilometer squared. And we're given the total population, oh no, we're given the density Okay, so now we need to solve for x up here. So we could just change this to x if we wanted to. And now we can cross multiply. So x is equal to 36.8, like that. And so when we multiply these together, x is equal to Well, I'm not gonna do the rest, people. So I'm gonna let you do that. So that's how you solve this one. You have to work backwards in the formula. This is pre-algebra. This is stuff you did a long time ago. Okay, recent estimates put the growth rate at 3.2% for the suburb. How many years will it take to double? So lots of people are moving in, lots of homes are being grown or being built for people to move into. What's our growth rate? 3.2%. And we come out with a number of years. And that's how you set up that one. So finish up the problems and turn in your work.